in there. Ain't nobody in here but us chickens. <laughs> They shot craps. That's your papa talking to you now, Dice. Come on. Just just hit him one more time. Ah. And lions weren't the only thing they were afraid of either. They were afraid of gorillas. Wallace Rose, is that you next to me? Wonderful. Is that you next? Now, come on, Wallenford. Now, don't stand around. Come on, tell me the truth. Is that you next to me? Wallenford, please say yes, that's you. <laughs> they were also afraid of ghosts and skeletons. Jeff? Yeah. Is that you scratching my head? Jeff? Yeah. Jeff! Yeah. Now, come on. Now, what are you looking at? <laughs> What's your hurry, boys? Even when they were little boys, they had these characteristics. Farina and our gang was the boy boy. The tradition of the lazy, stupid, crap shooting, chicken stealing idiot was popularized by an actor named Lincoln Theodore Monroe Andrew Perry. The cat made two million dollars in five years in the middle 30s, and everyone who ever saw a movie laughed at Step and Fetch It. Come out, come out, wherever you is, wherever you be, wherever you do. Come out, come out, wherever you am. How's the government looking for you? Where you going, stranger? You, you scare somebody stiff like that. I'm looking for hillbillies as you was. I ain't saying I am, I ain't saying I ain't. Well, that's close enough for me, because I'm tired of walking myself. The government told me I got to bring in a hillbilly, so you come go with me to Washington. I ain't a-going. That's the color of another hall. Mm. Well, I tell you, you don't go for me. We go for the Navy? No! I'm going to go for the Navy. It's, well, I tell you, go for the Army? No, I won't go for the Army. No, I won't go for the Army. It's too bad he was as good at it as he was. The character he played was planted in a lot of people's head, and they remember it the rest of their lives as clear as an auto accident. What's that? Are you an Indian? Yes, I'm in there. Man, you don't know. I got, I'm in there and I got one full of Cherokee, two full of Seminole, and I got four fills of Hiawatha. Wait a minute. Hiawatha was a woman. I can't help it. I got four fifths of them. He played in movies with other actors who were as American as Mom's Raspberry Jello. If they accepted the stereotype, how wrong could it be? Mr. Judge Regan, can I see you some, please? Well, I'm pretty busy. Yes, yeah, sir, but I just want to ask if you heard about it. Hear about what? About over at my house, night full last year. Oh, another baby? Yes, yeah, sir, you sure guessed that you heard. What's his name? Oh, we call him L.R. Lies Rigby Livingston. Oh, named him after me, did you? Yes, the Lies Rigby. I told my wife, Ethel, I said, Honey, I know Judge Shell going to be gratified. Well, of course, yes, I appreciate the honor. Yes, sir. I suppose a compliment, and I ought to do something for you. Yes, sir, that's what I thought. You come over to my place, Mara, and I'll give you a job. Job? Rake and leave. Mm -hmm. I asked him to wait. All-American little Shirley Temple played a lot of parts that involved her with black actors. She was always real nice to them. Oh, James Henry, you always do it wrong. This is an imitation step and fetch it named Willie Best with Shirley. Come on, Miss Virgie. I just won't budge. I'll show them I'm not... The cute afraid. little white girl was brave and strong in the face of danger. And the big black man was stupid and cowardly. What are you afraid of them for? Oh, honey child, them Yankees is mighty powerful. They can even change the weather. Yes? 
Whenever they come around, I never know whether it's winter or summer. I'm shivering and sweating at the same time. James Henry. Serve these cookies to Master Harold and wipe his chin. Yes, ma'am, Miss Bird. She was good to them, and they were good to her. Sort of a master and pet relationship. How would you like to see Uncle Billy dance? Oh! All right, James Henry, let's get going, son. This is Bill Bojangles Robinson, one of the great ones. But if he wanted to work and dance, he had to come into a picture through the servant's entrance. Shirley was good to children, too. They loved their little mistress, and she treated them real good. Hello, Sally Ann. Hello, Just like they were equals. Good morning, Sally Ann. Miss Virgie? Please, ma'am? We all done come here to wish him any happy, happy returns. That's it. Many happy returns of the day. And we all done made you a darling. Here it is, Miss Bursey. There was more I had to say, but let me. I forgot it. <laughs> you said everything, Sally Ann. Don't you worry. This is the very nicest present I got. Thank you ever so much. Yes, indeed, children. It was very thoughtful and sweet. Come out here. I'll see you later, and I'll save you some cake. Oh, oh my God. God. I suppose it might have surprised a lot of Hollywood writers and producers to know a scene like that could actually make a lot of people, mostly black, sick to their stomach. This is a lot of fun, isn't it? The newsreels that were shown along with feature films knew a good thing when they saw one. They helped keep all the black cats in their place. Nobody black ever did anything very newsy in a newsreel. <laughs> They did things like eat watermelon in watermelon eating contests. Then another favorite for the newsreel cameraman was to film people throwing things at them. Good sport. Some college football publicity man decided this was a good idea. And there were a lot of very funny golf pictures. If you weren't black, they were funny, I guess. Lie down, lie down, lie down. Just bite out of your mouth. Don't miss, boys, don't miss. <laughs> well, you keep still, see? Otherwise, you'll have flour in your room and you won't smell them. Oh, boy. Oh, wait, hey! Everything suggested the black man was nothing. <laughs> Hollywood adopted a sort of British attitude toward black natives of other countries. They were always sneaking around the bushes, you know, carrying stuff on the head. White men weren't supposed to get caught sweating. Anne Harding played a scene in a picture called Prestige and it stated the colonial attitude. Don't let it break, Andre. Take to him your race for a wedding gift. The prestige of the white man. That means everything you stand for. And it is the only weapon you two will have. Prestige. But it is enough to preserve you. Yes, sir. And I'll try to remember it. If you'll kiss me. Even though most non-white natives of any place were savages in films, it often pleased white producers to endow a few chosen blacks with the virtue of great loyalty to him, the white man. Here's one defending Anne Harding to the death. There was always one loyal and true black man who would do anything for his master. 